Welcome to the video version of Visibility at Your Library. Here's one more example of how libraries are changing in dynamic places. I remember going into a uh, community library when I was growing up, probably when I was eight, nine, ten years old, and that was just the, the, the coolest place because it was where, where I could go and just rummage through books, find whatever book I wanted, find a table, uh, you know, just kind of lay out all my stuff on a table, do my homework, but actually more important, just kind of browse through browse through books. And I have, I have very fond memories of uh, community libraries. And then when I was in college, I went to school at Stanford University, and so of course I, I frequented the Stanford, Stanford Library probably every day. Um, you know, actually what I've discovered is that the, the library now is a, a good resource just for logging on the internet and getting information. Um, so I tend not to use it um, in kind of day-to-day -day life unless it's for a science periodical, a science journal that I don't happen to subscribe to. So it's for technical books primarily. Well, they have been useful in my career development just because uh, when I entered the astronaut corps, there was a lot of information that we had to learn about the history of the space program and about uh, the technical technical side of some of the things that I hadn't learned in school and there's no better place to to learn about that or to find all the technical books um, than a library especially since in a bookstore if you're lucky enough to be able to find one it's probably going to cost you an arm and a leg so libraries were very helpful. Well I think the future of libraries in space are going to be digital libraries because you do not want to be carrying paper and books into space because you have to build a bigger and bigger rocket uh, in order to launch them. So I think it will be digital libraries exclusively.